Versailles, it was royal palace. Before Versailles, the royal palace was the Louvre Museum. So the father of the king XIV, the king XIII, he built here a hunting lodge. Hunting was the favorite sport of all French kings and the nobles. So the father of the king Louis XIV, he built here a hunting lodge. A few years later, when the king Louis XIV became king of France, he decided to move from the Louvre Palace here at Versailles. Now, for what reasons the king Louis XIV he left from Louvre and he moved to Versailles? For many reasons. One of the reasons, when the king Louis XIV was a child, when he was 10 years old, there was a big revolt of the nobles. You know, the kings they had many enemies around them, a lot of people wanted to take their place. So when he was 10 years old, there was a big revolt of the nobles. The king Louis XIV he was obliged to escape from Paris. He slept on the floor, and all of his events were a big humiliation for him. So what did he do? You know, Paris was a big city, so the royal court was expanded all around Paris. At Versailles, he built a big palace, so the whole royal court was around him, so he couldn't live there. Now, another reason, the king Louis XIV, he had a minister of finance. His name was Nicolas Fouquet, and Nicolas Fouquet, he built the palace to the south suburbs of Paris, the palace of Bonne Vicomte. And he organized a big party for royal family and royal courts. And the palace was so beautiful, and the party was so nice, that the king Louis XIV was jealous. He was jealous because it was not possible for the minister of the king having a palace more beautiful than the king himself. So he was jealous, he got angry, he left angry from the party, and what did he do? First of all, he hired the architects of Ole Vicomte, Lovo, Mansara, and Le Nôtre, and around the hunting lodge of his father, he had started to build Versailles Palace. Now, what happened to Nicolas Fouquet? The king Louis XIV, he accused him to abuse public money, and Nicolas Fouquet, passed the rest of his life in prison. So here in France, on the 17th century, during the reign of the King Louis XIV, we had a legend that we had a prisoner with an iron mask. So this iron mask was locked. We could not remove it. And the person behind the mask would not say who he was because he would be condemned to death. So there are many stories around this prisoner. For some stories, the prisoner with the iron mask was the Minister of Finance of the King Louis XIV, Nicolas Fouquet, and for some other stories, for the Hollywood version, there is a film as well with Leonardo DiCaprio, when you go back home you can see it. So for the Hollywood version, the prisoner with the iron mask was the twin brother of the King Louis XIV, and as he was older than him, he was supposed to be to the throne of France, so that's why the King Louis XIV, he imprisoned him. So to finish Versailles, we put almost 50 years, 5-0. In architects of the palace were Jules Lardouin Mansart and Le Vaux, and the, the architect of the gardens was André Lenoir. So here at Versailles, we have more than 700 different rooms. So the rooms that we can visit here are the state apartments of the king, the hall of mirrors, and the state apartments of the king. Morgen früh, wenn Gott
Look at this little in there. To this little painting, we can see uh, Hercules. This okay. is the Greek god of the power. So that ceiling painting was the last one that Charles Le Brun had made. <coughs> he put almost two years to finish the ceiling painting. So when he finished, he called the king to show him the result. And when the king came here, he looked at the ceiling painting and he told him, he didn't seem so excited. So what did he do, Charles Le Brun? He suicide. Because oh. it was a matter of honor. As he didn't satisfy the king, he suicide. The painting is so cool. It's a painting made of 16th century, Renaissance. Uh, it was made by the Italian painter Veronese. So this painting was a gift of the government of Venice, of the city of Venice, to the French king Louis XIV. And to this painting, we can see, in the middle of the painting, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And this lady on her knees, this is Maria Madeleine. Have you ever heard about her? Da Vinci Code? Yeah. No? Yeah. So, Maria Madeleine, according to the Bible, uh, was a lady having bad life, and uh, as she wanted forgiveness, she, uh, she washed the feet of Jesus Christ with her tears. And Linda, according to Da Vinci Code, there is a book and there is a film. The film is not good. Dan Brown. And Dan Brown, exactly. So according to Dan Brown, Maria Madeleine was the support wife of, the Je of Jesus Christ. And France, it's a secular country. Oh, five, there is no official religion in France. But traditionally, during royalty was very, very important. The place where we are, it's a chateau, chateau means palace. So uh, to each chateau, we had uh, a royal chapel where we had mass every day for the royal family and the royal uh, The royal chapel of Versailles Palace. King of France, the King Louis XVI, and his famous wife Marie Antoinette. So, especially at the time, royal marriages were not love marriages. They just wanted to seal alliances between different countries. So, in the 18th century, France wanted to have good relations with Austria. So, they organized the marriage between the future King of France and the Princess of Austria. So, Marie Antoinette, she came here at Versailles at the age of 15 years old, one five. And on 18th century, no Facebook, no Twitter, no photos. <laughs> so she had never seen her husband before. She met her husband here. And uh, uh, in general, why we have a queen? We have a queen to give a child to the throne of France. So if a queen was not able to give a child to the throne of France, she was chased away. So Marie Antoinette, she came here, she was young, the King Louis the Sixteenth he was young as well. They didn't know how. The legend says that the King Louis the Sixteenth had a small anatomic problem. It was resolved later. The fact is that for three years, the royal court was waiting for a child, and for three years, no, no child. Yep. So as you can imagine, the panic to the other court of Austria, it was a shame for them. So the mother and the brother of Marie Antoinette, they ran quickly, quickly from Austria, they came here to Versailles. The mother took Marie Antoinette, the brother took the King Louis the Sixteenth, they gave them some advices, and finally, <laughs> the King and the Queen, they had their first child. But, since then, Marie Antoinette, she was never accepted uh, from the royal court of France. People didn't like her. When they were talking about her, they were telling of the Austrian one. And she was accused for all bad things happening in France. Oh. And she was accused to spend a lot of money. And it's true that she used to spend a lot of money, especially for Jewish uh, clothes and gambling. 
gambling, it was not allowed anywhere in France. It was allowed only here at Versailles Palace. And Marie Antoinette, she's the one who told the famous when some councillors of the kingdom, just before the French Revolution, they came here to Versailles to tell the queen, people is hungry, they need bread to winter. You know what she replied? Why they don't eat cake? <laughs> it means that she was living in a long world. <laughs> we have to imagine that in the 17th century, no television, no newspaper, nothing. So Marie Antoinette, she was born to a palace in Austria. After that, she came to a palace in France. And uh, she thought that everybody was living like that. So she answered why they don't eat cake. We see the symbol of the sun everywhere. Because the king Louis XIV who built Versailles was the Sun King. Here at Versailles, you have to check, please, as well, tapestries. We used to change tapestries every winter and every summer. The green velvet tapestry we will see to this first room was for the winter, and the red silk tapestry we will see a little bit later was for the summer. summer. He used to expose some of the most precious objects that belong to the royal family. Some of these objects we can see them painted to the ceiling painting of this room, and most of these objects are actually exposed to the Louvre. Inside, on your left, you will see the door leading behind to the private rooms, only for a few people. Okay. To the paintings around, we can see different members of the royal family who live here at Versailles. And to this first room, we had a buffet of drinks for the visitors of Versailles. Look at the same painting here. Who is she? Do you recognize Re this letters to the city meeting? Re so this, to this city meeting, we can see Venus. Oh, and it was happy. Very much love. Yeah. This is Venus drawing room, and to this room we have a buffet of snacks for the visitors of Versailles. To the previous room we used to serve some drinks, and to this one we used to serve some fruits and snacks. the King Louis XIV. And as you can see, to this statue, the King Louis XIV takes the characteristics of a Roman Empire. With long and beautiful hair, <laughs> like the <laughs> Indians. <laughs> but it's not true. It's a wig. According to the legend, the King Louis XIV, he was short, bold, and ugly. Actually. And he used to have high heels and high wigs to give him some height. The heels and the wings added 18 centimeters to this height. And the fashion of the wig was created here to the royal court of France. The King Louis XIV lost his hair. He was very young when he lost his hair. And as it was not possible for a French king not having hair, he had started to put wigs. At the beginning, everybody was fooling at him, but as the people around the kingdom wanted to please the king, they had started to put wigs. As to this invitation, we can see Diana. Her Greek name was Artemis. She was the Greek goddess of hunting. Uh, so this room, it was a game. According to the legend, once a week, the King Louis XIV he used to play here to the billiard with different members of the royal family. You can imagine as well that nobody could even dare to be the king. You can see Mars. His good name was Ares. He was the great god of the war. So this room was for the guardians of the king. It was, it was a guard room. Now, look at this painting. It represents one of the kings who lived here to Versailles. This is Maria Leszczynska, the wife of the king Louis XV. So the king Louis XIV was married to the Spanish Marie The king Louis XV, he was married to the Polish Marie, uh, Maria, Maria, Maria Leszczynska. All kings had a mistress. The only king who didn't have a mistress, who was he? The king Louis XVI. 
just want to tell you that it's not a coincidence if we had French Revolution during the reign of the King Louis XVI. The King Louis XVI. He didn't want to be. He wanted. He want, He was a quiet man. He wanted to be quiet. He loved philosophy, sciences. He didn't like politics at all. Huh? So uh, it's not a coincidence. So uh, the King Louis XVI he was. And the other world, like well, Marie Antoinette, she was a young girl who wanted to live her life. So uh, France had no government. So it's not a coincidence if we had a French Revolution at this time of our history. The King Louis XIV, short, bold, and ugly, high heels and high wigs. The King Louis XV, he had lower heels, and the King Louis XVI, he was tall. He had flat shoes. No. The next week, the next time I will explain the ceremonial recap of the king. People was coming from the side to assist to the to the wake up of the king. So when we see the king's bed, it was high and wide. So the bed was high because the king could not sleep to the same level than everybody. We had stairs next to the bed, so he climbed to the bed. And for what reason the bed was wide? It was not because the King Louis XIV was short, but uh, on 17th century, we believed uh, that if the king lies on his back, death will come and he will take his soul. So the king was obliged to sleep almost seated. We put pillows behind his back and he was sleeping almost seated. Yeah. So once a week, uh, we had the ceremony of the cup of the king, people was coming there to say good morning, my king. And we used to clean the skin of the king with alcohol. I tell you that according to the legend, the king with the 14, he took three showers during his whole life. <laughs> one shower when he was born, the second one when he got married, and the last one when he died. So maybe now you know why in France we have so many perfumes. <laughs> it's not funny. Well, heard as well that here at Versailles there are no toilets, no restaurants. For what reason? When Versailles was built, there was a big epidemic of cholera here in Europe, and as they didn't want to bring the dirty water from Paris to Versailles, so that's why they didn't build washrooms. So what people was doing? Natural way, the gardens. Yes. <laughs> that's why gardens are so beautiful. <laughs> and uh, Organic. Versailles, it was, for the first time, it was the palace for the whole year. Before Versailles, we had the Winter Palace, the Summer Palace, Versailles was for the whole year, but they used to move once a year every September to Fontainebleau Palace because they needed to clean the gardens. Now, why people didn't like water so much on the 17th century? Because on the 17th century, the scientists believed that all illness entered to the body by the pores of the skin. And they believed that the water opens the pores of the skin. So that's why people didn't like to lose water so much on the 17th century. And on the 17th century, we had five liters of water per person per day. Now, we have 125. So we would not have the same, exactly the same life that we have now. the silver throne to get the medal and now this emblem. You can see the emblem of the last royal family of France, of the Bourbon family. The blue royal color and the three royal flowers called the Fleur de Lys, that was the emblem of the last royal family of France, of Bourbon family. Shall we 
of a young man and he just put the head of the king. <laughs> Just for your information, the King Louis XIV, he died on 1715 at the age of 77 years old. The average on the 17th century was 40 years old. So maybe not taking showers, it costs more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So no, no showers from tomorrow. No showers from tomorrow. I would rather die. <laughs> Rub a little alcohol. <laughs> century was something very 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 some of the workers of the manufacture there. Uh, she brought them here with her knowledge and she founded the first manufacturer of music. As you can imagine, Italians were not happy at all with what happened, so they sent back to Paris some other spies to kill the workers here, so they didn't make it. So we had the first manufacturer of music in Paris. So in this room, we have King's room from this side. Come. Flowers. Wherever you see flowers, it was Marie Antoinette. <laughs> to this bedroom, the King Louis XIV, he died on 1715. No, with all the sticks. Oh, yes, no stick. Take off the stick. All right. Keep the stick inside the bag. Thank sure, you. Sure. Thank you much. Sometimes we're obliged to have lunch or dinner in front of public. So, as you can see, they had uh, dinner here, and people were sitting there to look. And Marie Antoinette, she hated this tradition, and she was standing there uh, without eating. So, another reason for which people didn't like Marie Antoinette, because Marie Antoinette, she didn't want to follow all of these rooms here at Versailles that she considered ridiculous. Never, never, never alone. She always, she had always somebody behind everyone. And, 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 and,